All right, shalom, y'all. <clears throat> this is uh, part four of uh, the six the six qualities for a successful relationship. And um, as far as uh, the relationship series, it's going to keep going on. But as far as the, these six qualities, it's probably going to wrap it up for this one. So we're going to sum up a bunch of things in this one. Um, but just a brief recap. Um, the six qualities, three are for men, three are for women. Um, the three that are for men are uh, um, affection, direction, and correction, okay? And then the three for, uh, for the women are um, affection and... Uh, nurturing and in respect okay or you could call it uh i i just thought about it the other day but basically the, a good way to sum it up is uh respect or submission um <clears throat> all this can be easily plainly backed up biblically everything i'm saying and the reason i teach on this stuff a lot is because i've actually experienced these dynamics and stuff like that in my life <clears throat> and in counseling, uh, counseling people on these topics and just, um, uh, interviewing and just talking to a lot of people about their relationship issues. You know, I've seen them. Um, and yesterday we talked about, uh, some of the, um, the qualities for the woman, I think we hit on, um, the submission and, um, a, a little bit on, on the, uh, on the caregiving kind of aspect, but <clears throat> I, just to sum it up, cause I, um, when you get to the core of, of any relationship problem, anytime there's a relationship problem, almost 90% of the time, it always comes down to a, uh, ba basically a respect submission issue. Um, the, the, uh, the man is not respectable and the woman is not submissive or willing to give respect and <clears throat> the, uh, I always say one of the main areas the man has to give the woman something to submit to I get I see a lot of men because the Bible plainly says you know a woman submit to your man and the men are like well you gotta submit this that and the other but a lot of times the men because because when you look at in the Bible when you look at what the Bible says about uh, uh, for women, uh, what their what their role is, what they're to do in a relationship and stuff like that. When you look at what the Word says about it, it's pretty straightforward. It's through the Bible, you know, spread throughout the Bible, and it's pretty straightforward. What happens? The men fail to see what their role is and and their role is to be as Christ was and and that's a whole lot more and a lot of men miss what their role is supposed to be and it's a heavy role you have to be you have to have wisdom be making wise decisions be a good leader you know and if you're fulfilling that you make it very easy for a woman to submit and show you respect. Um, if you if you look at people who have relationship issues, who who can um, who have trouble getting in a relationship or staying in relationships and stuff like that, whether it's a man or a woman, if it's a man, women have prob uh, he does uh, women can't respect him. That that'll be the problem. You know what I'm saying? He's not a respectable man for whatever the reason is, whether he's over 
taken with lust, whether he just doesn't stand up for himself, whether he makes unwise decisions all the time, it comes down to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, if it's a woman, majority of the time, she just she's disrespectful to a man. And dudes ain't going to put up with that. A lot of times these types of women um, who either they don't know how to respect the man or they've been hurt so many times by men or hurt so deeply and so bad by men that they're not going to respect the man. They've made it up in their mind. So they remain single because they haven't let go of that hurt or and you know, uh, or whatever you want to call it, the scarring that these weak men who've let them down, they haven't let go of that. They're not going to respect the man. Um, and so a lot of times those women either remain single or just they're in tumultuous relationships and they're just, they're not going to give up the respect and stuff like that. So it's a, it, it, that's what you find at at the core of a lot of relationship dysfunction and um you know i i will always say the the burden of the blame is always going to be on the man the man has to step up and overcome these odds and these men have to become real men out here um and just fight be warriors i got camouflage all over everything and call everything it's called spiritual combat and i'm about that warfare lifestyle man because it's there's a battle all the time <clears throat> every time i turn around something's coming at me and i'm not talking about my relationship and my wife you know uh because she's she's like most black women, she, she's been through a lot in her life. She's encountered a lot of sorry, weak men. And there's a lot out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, so naturally, and this is the other big thing. When you get in a relationship with these women, a lot of dudes, oh, why she all? Like, like a lot of dudes can't deal with a little bit of frustration, like a woman nagging, getting upset with them, get, giving them a hard time, being difficult. Deal with it, man. A lot of sorry dudes have hurt these women and let them down. It, what do you expect? Deal with it. Endure it, you know? And eventually, you will win them over, and they, they'll love you even more, you know? Um... Same note, you know, women understand, know when you got a good man, know when you got something good and don't mess it up, you know, uh, and don't quit, don't be weak, don't give up, you know, this is what God, you know, he intended us to be in relationships. A lot of women get hurt, go through some stuff, and then they want to, they, they, instead of facing the hurt and going through the pain, they come up with an excuse, oh, yeah, God wanted me to be by myself, you know. So, but it, you got to endure through it. But like I was saying, every time there's, there's a battle all the time, you got to uh, learn to, and, you know, I, I'm comfortable with the uncomfortable, comfortable with conflict. Somebody always coming at me sideways, you know what I'm saying? Like Satan always throwing something at me because he know you know, <clears throat> and it's like right before you're about to have a big breakthrough, something big's getting ready to happen. Like I, he, he dispatches the fools. He dispatches the clowns. It, it, it happens all the time. Right before something big's about to happen, he dispatches uh, people to bring silliness in your life. You know, you just got to be a warrior with things, you know. Um, but yeah, so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I always come at, at the men. I don't come at them like this society does tearing them down and get, and just telling them to lay down and all that. But 
at the end of the day, the men have to step up and make and uh, <clears throat> take their biblical role as the head and as the leader, and and not not as a dictatorship, but as as a wise, um, righteous, Christ-like leader. You know what I'm saying? To where a woman can safely trust in a because these women have been you know they've been hurt. You know we we we. They've went through this oppression, this captivity with us. They're damaged. You know, they need healing. Um, you got to empathize, you know, and, uh, you know, understand, <laughs> you know. Um, I, have to, I, have to, I have to do a video, you know, on that. But, uh, but yeah, so like I said, at the end of the day, um, these uh cuz i try to make it real simple these are the core qualities to relationship success is and it you boil it down to six qualities and when when you are hitting on all six of those qualities the woman and the man then the seventh quality pops up which is what love you know what i'm saying so and it's a process you know um like I said, we'll be going on 10 years in our marriage here. We've been through a lot. Uh, maybe one of these days we'll uh, get on here and, and just give our testimony of, you know, some of the stuff we've endured. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's not it's not a Disney fairy tale, but it, it it's absolutely, a, it, it's a content lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Um, and these relationships purify you. It, just like uh, Yah purifies gold. That's what these relationships do. They bring out all your imperfections. Uh, they bring them to your attention, right in your face. And if you want to face them, you can. And you can uh, develop yourself to a, a higher, more righteous level. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one of the benefits of, of being in a relationship. But a lot of people, man, they, they can't, you know, because of pride and whatever, you know, mostly pride, they don't want to face themselves. They don't want to face hurts and things that have happened to them. But anyway, um, I hope this series was informative. Like I said, we'll be starting, uh, another relationship series um you know i'll probably start tomorrow but uh that concludes this one on the six qualities of a uh, relationship you know that make a relationship successful um but uh yeah if you have any questions or anything like that um put it in the comments like comment subscribe share the video and shalom